is Sana. Today I'm going to be playing either.io with my sister. You're getting so used to not seeing her in the videos. Yeah, all you're seeing is my hand. <laughs> and you're, you, they can hear your voice, which is kind of creepy, but you, they've never seen you. I'm actually just a hand. I'm like that hand from, uh, what's that movie? I can't remember, but yeah. I know what you're talking about. Whatever the movie's called, we don't care. If you know, leave it in the comment section below. Right now, we're gonna play Would You Rather, and we're gonna discuss this together. Yeah. So, here's the first question. Would you rather have 50% of your body burnt or 100% of your body tattooed? Okay, so are we talking just your skin being burned or like chopped off and burned? Because probably just your skin. No, just, yeah, you just your yeah. skin burned. Uh, I know what I would choose. Definitely the tattoo one. I would choose tattoo and just... Like make my skin color a bit darker. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah, <laughs> it's like slightly more tanned, Emma. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it looks like I've been sunbathing all summer. Yeah, <laughs> ready and, for summer. But the problem is that you'd have to tattoo like your eyeball as well, because that's also your body. How do they tattoo your teeth? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm guessing it's your okay, when you close your mouth, just anything that's visible. Yeah, we're gonna take hundred percent of the body tattoo. Yeah, because. I mean, if you've ever burnt just your thumb or something, you know how much that hurts. Imagine that on half your body. Yeah. That would be fucking horrible. Uh, yeah, so most people actually agree. Here's another question. Would you rather laugh uncontrollably at insurance commercials or become wildly aroused at car commercials? Uh, probably the first one. Because, I mean, I'd rather, like, laugh than just be horny all the time. <laughs> yeah, laugh. Let, let's let's do that. Let's move on. Let's move on. Would you rather lose your preferred hand? That's kind of creepy. Yeah. Your preferred hand. No, but that's like your right hand yeah. if you're right-handed or left-handed. Or if you're left lose your preferred foot. Well, I don't have a preferred foot. Do you? Nope. So I, I think I would go for the, for hand though. Yeah, I'm gonna go for hand because first of all, we need our hands for our jobs. Because you can't play games with one hand That's very true. easily, at least, and um, and I don't use my feet as much as my hands. So you're, and so also, you would take away your foot. Yeah, I think that there's probably better prosthetics as well for feet than there yeah. is for hands. Yeah, that's because, true. Because you can get more precise movements. And if it's, for and if feet. it's only your foot. You can kind of just like put a shoe, shoe on there, <laughs> like a heavy shoe on there, and then you can. Yeah. Am I, like, am I being rude? <laughs> no, but because you need more like precision with your hands than you do with your feet. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So yeah. your so, foot. Yeah. Great. Most people actually agree. We're normal, Emma. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Nice. Would you rather have knee length hair or have a foot tall mohawk? Mohawk. 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 Um, I'd go with knee length hair, and you? Yeah, the hair. Because like a foot is quite long and I wouldn't have time to deal with that. And also, I just already have quite long hair and I feel like it suits me more than a mohawk would. Yeah, let's go with that one then. Would you rather be named after a car or be named after produce, fruit or veggies? Um, so uh, would you rather have like a kind of tacky name or would you rather have a celebrity name? No, I actually think like a car could be have like a ne ne nice name, like yeah, Tesla. Like or like Volvo. Volvo or Toyota. <laughs> Saab. Yeah, or or I, Mini. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna go with a uh, car. I'm gonna go with Tesla with isn't produce. that bad. I could be called like watermelon or something. But or, Emma, or we apple. have to choose one of them. Uh, I think my opinion on this is stronger than yours. I think mine is stronger. I don't wanna be called banana. Hell no, no that would be a nightmare. No, you'd be called like plum. Plum, okay, we're gonna go with <laughs> Okay, but um, most people agree with me, Emma, so uh, you're oh, wrong. Those 81% probably are going to be called af named after like Mercedes or something. Yeah. I guess that's already a person name. Would you rather be visited by ancient aliens or be visited by mole people? Mole, mole people, people just sounds really fucking scary. Because like, do they have those tiny little mole eyes and those like little sprouts on their noses like moles do? Yeah, that's kind of creepy. I, I think aliens. Aliens. Yeah. <gasps> I mean, I think aliens would probably have more interesting things to tell me than like weird people who dig around all day. Yeah. Yeah, let's move on. Yeah. Would you rather 
have a beautiful lover than you that you are incompatible with or have an ugly lover that you get along great with. Second have an one, ugly lover yeah. that yeah, obviously. I mean like personality brings out the person to be more beautiful as well. Yeah. It's like, I think you're beautiful, but that's just because I love you. I mean, otherwise, definitely the red one. Like, you're beautiful, but uh, your personality really reflects upon your beauty. So, yeah, it does bring out your ugliness. So, yeah, yeah definitely. the second one. Ah, oh, people actually agree. I surprised 48% would rather go out with someone beautiful than than someone they actually get along with. It's probably young people. They yeah. don't understand. Let's go. You're like 18. I know, but I understand more than those. <laughs> Would you rather dump someone or get dumped? Dump someone. Probably get dumped because that's more final and you don't have to think about it. Oh, I mean, yeah. if you're gonna dump someone, you have to really Kind of think about it before, and it probably yeah, feels really, it, really bad. But if you get dumb, then you're always going to be asking yourself, like, what is wrong with me? What, why did it happen to me? I mean, it depends on the situation. I think yeah. if, you know, if you're in a really serious relationship, yeah, then you're going to talk about it anyway. So then it might be more of a, like, friendly breakup. I don't know. I, I think get dumped. I would rather dump someone, I think. I don't know. It's so difficult. They're both bad. But we're going to go with get dumped. Most people would dump someone though, so okay. Oh! Would you rather be stalked by Slenderman or take part in one of Jigsaw's games? No, I hate Slenderman. That's like my darkest fears. I mean, he never. It doesn't say that he actually shows up. It just says that you're being stalked by him. And the thing about stalkers is that a lot of the time you don't know that you're being stalked. Yeah, but still. Yeah, maybe Slenderman. But I mean, like taking part in one of Jigsaw's games, you're probably gonna die or lose a limb or be severely deformed for the rest of your life and oh, you're gonna yeah. have pretty bad PTSD. I yeah. think Slenderman. Slenderman. I mean, it doesn't say that he actually pops up and scares you like in the game. Yeah. Would you rather eat 50 celery sticks every day or eat 50 Brussels sprouts every day? I'd rather eat Brussels sprouts. I actually don't. Definitely celery because Brussels sprouts taste like farts. And I don't, I don't dislike them that much. Celery sticks, come on. Would you sit there chewing? Celery yeah. sticks. Okay, celery sticks then. There we go. Would you rather be the first person to walk on Mars via a one-way trip or never travel to space? What? That's such a dumb question. The first one. What? Oh, wait, it's a one-way trip. Yeah, you only no, go there no. and you die. Yeah. No, for some reason I thought that... I thought it said that it was a return trip. Um... Never I travel I to mean, space. I mean, it doesn't say when. Can I go when I'm... When I'm like 89. No, I'll be the first person to walk on Mars. Maybe you're all alone. Never traveled to space. It's mine. We're gonna go with mine. Yeah, let's go travel to space. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm still undecided. Would you rather be a mall cop or be a prison guard? I feel uh, like you're less likely to get stabbed when you're a mall cop. Yeah, mall but cop. But also people don't respect you. Yeah, But that's I care true. more about my life than being respected. Yeah. Would you rather be four feet tall or be fe ten feet tall? Four feet tall. I feel like being a girl and being small isn't that big of a problem, but I think it's worse for a guy. I'm not sure why. But I mean, but the thing is that I think six feet is one meter and 80 centimeters, which is like average height. So you're almost twice as tall as that. So you're well over two meters tall, which is just, you can't stand inside yeah. a normal house, basically. And I mean, four, feet, four tall. feet, that's short, but it's not like horribly short. That's basically the height of, I think, just like a little person. Yeah. And I mean, that's, sure, it's it's a disadvantage. It's It makes life slightly harder, but it's not the most horrible thing that could happen to a person. So yeah, definitely we're gonna go with this feet. one. Yeah. yeah. Would you rather be caught at home watching Sex in the City by yourself or be caught in a bar with a pink martini in hand? Uh, I'm pretty sure that that one of those has happened to either of us at some point anyway. I don't think not either really. of those is something to be ashamed of. No, it's nothing to be ashamed of. I, I haven't seen Sex in the City. No, me I neither. But I haven't in a bar with a pink martini, but I don't really care which one. Yeah, I mean, like... I'd rather sit at home watching Yeah, worst thing instead. that can happen is, like... Somebody walks into the room, I'm watching Sex in the City, and I'm like, Oh, hey, I'm just watching a TV show. Yeah. How, how are you? <laughs> yeah. So would you rather jump off a two-story roof 
Or take a sandwich tackle from three rugby players. I don't know. You'd probably die either way or break a few ribs. So yeah. basically, would you rather break some ribs or b break your legs? Um, that is a tough decision. I think, I don't know. I think breaking ribs hurts more. Yeah, and then and then you have trouble breathing and things. Yeah, I mean, let's, let's break those ribs. I think you're probably... Ribs. I mean, legs. Yeah, legs. Yeah. Would you rather only eat reheated leftovers for the rest of your life or pay to eat out at restaurants for every meal for the rest of your life. Leftovers are pretty damn good a lot of the time. Yeah. I mean, like, it's just stuff that you've made and then it's yeah. sat in the fridge or the freezer for a day and then it tastes just as good the day after and sometimes even better. Yeah. So definitely leftovers. I mean, yeah. that's what I eat half the time anyway. Yeah. Would you rather fight 100 third graders at a time or fight 50 third graders at the same time? Um... Uh, Hundred. Yeah, hundred, definitely. I mean, I'd get tired, but at least I could take them. Yeah, let's let's get that. I mean, I think if you if you're fighting fifty third graders, third graders are quite old, aren't they? They're like seven or something. No, I no, I think they're like twelve. No, because I think when you I don't oh. know when you start school in America though. Yeah, but I'm they're not sure. They're somewhere between the age of seven and ten. Ah, uh, yeah, probably. And I mean, they're quite big. And kids are really mean. Imagine if they like climb on top of each other and then like start pinching you and biting you and pulling your hair and things. You wouldn't last long. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, definitely the first one. You already clicked ah, it. I already click on it. Oh well. Would you rather have a constantly runny nose or constantly have Cheetos cheese covered fingers? Yeah. I mean, I'm pretty much the first one anyway. <laughs> okay, we'll go for that one then. Oh, 50-50. Oh, very interesting. The Cheetos one has slightly more. Yeah. Would you rather have supernatural agility or have supernatural strength slash intelligence? Does that mean strength and intelligence? I don't know. I would assume so. But yeah. Because otherwise... I'd go with the second one. Yeah, definitely. Would you rather have to learn how to walk again or have to learn about every date in history and why they were important? I think walk. To, yeah, to walk again. People do that all the time when they've been in accidents and yeah. things. Yeah. I mean, not that that's not hard, but you can't do it. It would be impossible to yeah. learn every single important date. Yeah. And, I mean, there's so many important things from lots of different countries and religions and, you know, what's important to different people. And yeah, I mean, where do you draw the line between what's important and not? Would you rather perform petty thievery for a living or perform grand larceny for a living i think grand larceny is when you just do like one big heist yeah uh so that's what we're gonna assume for this question if we if we get the definition wrong then we're answering the question wrong i think one grand larceny i mean i don't want to just go like stealing people's wallets and things yeah yeah let's go with the second one yeah if you could only have one would you rather Facebook or Twitter? I think Facebook. Yeah, Facebook, because I use it to talk to my friends. And yeah. I don't really use Twitter. So. No, I use Twitter sometimes, but I never use Facebook really. Yeah. But if I go I mean, to I, between them. I use Facebook on pretty much a daily basis to talk to my friends and like organize things and stuff. So Yeah, we'll go with that one. Would you rather be deep sea diving and your oxygen tank runs out? <laughs> or be bungee jumping and have your cord snap? Well, you're going to die either way, right? I think bungee jumping, because first of all, if you die, you die faster. And I think when you go bungee jumping, you often jump like above a lake or a river or something. Yeah. So I mean, there's a slight chance that you might survive. Um, and also, I just hate being underwater anyway. So. That's, yeah, that's true. I'm going to go with the second one too. Yeah. Would you rather be captured by a wild tribe in the jungle or be captured by pirates at sea? In the wild... In, in the jungle, because then you have more, like, surface areas so you can actually escape. Yeah. In the sea, you're stuck. Yeah. And also, I mean, I'm guessing this is modern pirates. And I'd rather not be caught by modern pirates. But yeah. if it's a wild tribe in the jungle, they probably haven't really seen civilization before. Yeah. So they wouldn't know what kind of tricks I have up my sleeve it's with my modern technology and stuff. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go with the first one. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Leave it a thumbs up in the thumbs up place in the, yeah, down below. Let us know in the comment section which one you guys would choose. And if you agree with us or you have some other opinions, leave it all in the comment section below. We'll discuss it all there later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! Bye!